Check two. Two, three. Come on, court. The Brownell Talbot Junior Varsity football team always practices the day before a game. Second group, step up, let's go. Even with reports that a mountain lion has been roaming their sidelines the last couple days. It's nothing worth worrying about. Raiders assistant coach John Mayo says he's not concerned about the latest round of cat sightings. Mountain lions tend to be solitary. And they, they won't. One bunch of people, they're not going to come out and cause problems. But search crews aren't taking chances. They started looking for the cat Friday night right over here on this and looked for it again last night. Both searches came up empty. Probably spooked. When you see something like this, you're kind of wondering, ooh, <laughs> you know, this is not a dog. And I know for sure it was not a dog because a dog does not have a tail about that big. Once I got a better look at it, I said, well, that, that is not a cat. And if it is a cat, I want to know what they're feeding it because it's, it's pretty big, <laughs> you know. Ed says he watched the cat for about 15 minutes. And at first, he couldn't believe his eyes. I said, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> and the cat turned around and looked at me. And it kind of, you know, it kind of looked at me and slinked and look, lifted one leg. And... Um, I backed up from that point and got into the house and called the police. It's a call they take seriously, sending several officers and a helicopter. They've spent hours looking into it with help from the Henry Dorley Zoo and Nebraska Humane Society. It's not something that's it's impossible to happen, and yet you think, wow, twice in a couple weeks, that's unusual. John agrees. He finds it hard to believe a wild cat could make it this far into the city again. I just... Uh believe things when I see them and until they're proven. You know, I, I'm, I'm not worried the least bit about it. And if seeing is believing. I know for sure. It was a large, very large cat. Mary Nelson, KM3 News.